WKRG News 5 is your local election headquarters. The Democratic National Convention kicks off today in Chicago with 52 delegates making the trip from Alabama. WKRG News 5's Asher Red joins us now in studio. And Asher, you spoke with the chairman of the Mobile County Democratic Committee who is there in Chicago. Yeah, and he says those delegates are ready to pledge their support to Kamala Harris, even though she's likely the underdog come November. Mobile is, is I think, uh, probably the largest purple county in the state. Um, it's still shaded a little bit red. Ben Harris, chairman of Mobile Democrats, is in Chicago for the Democratic National Convention, but Alabama is a lot different than Chicago. Harris understands that a Democratic ticket would be an underdog in Alabama, but he expects a higher number of Democrats in the city of Mobile. I think uh, the Harris Walls ticket will win the city precincts in Mobile by a pretty sizable margin. That's been true for several election cycles now. Kamala Harris stepped into the race after President Biden announced his plans in late July to drop out, endorsing the vice president. We recognize there were maybe some voters who, who did not feel that they had a good choice. As we get closer to November, one concern that Ben Harris and other Democrats have is a recent report on non-citizens registered to vote in the state of Alabama. Republican Alabama Secretary of State Wes Allen says he found more than 3,200 non-citizens within the state who are somehow registered to vote. It's very concerning uh, that there would be an effort to purge voter rolls this close to an election. Ben Harris says that he has seen a lot of enthusiasm out of the Alabama delegates so far as Kamala Harris is expected to secure enough delegates to become the party's nominee. The convention is set to wrap up on Thursday. Live in the studio for now, I'm Asher Red, WKRG News 5.